What's up everybody? Icebreaker back with another Boom Beach video. Today we've got yet another extra ability as you can see above the gunboat there. So we're going to jump in and we're going to see what this one's all about. Let's take a look. Okay then guys, so this is the Super Warrior. As you can see there, it's a limited time extra ability, which means it's not a permanent gumbo ability, as you probably know. And the icon there is of a big hench warrior with a glowing red hammer. As you can see, uh, level 17, um, obviously I've got the max level ones, max level players, so I've got the max level gumbo abilities. Uh, you only get one. It's uh, similar to a critter, and um, you can't you can't flare them around. They don't um, listen to any commands after you've been thrown, just like critters do. Uh, the health has got eighteen thousand and three hundred and ten, which is pretty good. Movement speed says fast. Range is uh, melee, and the damage is two thousand and two. Cool thing about their damage is only does um, 1,601 damage per hit. Doesn't sound like a lot, but the thing we're interested in most here is the self heal per hit is 512. Now that means every time they do damage to a building, they will get 512 um, health points back. So it's just like normal warriors. Um, it's that life leech ability that we, like we see with the tribes. As you can see this, this in this cycle right now we've got rifleman and life leech it's the same same deal as that same as warriors warriors have that ability um all the time with each time they hit something they get a bit of health back so that's what the super warrior is let's see what you can do on an attack okay guys so i picked this guy out for a reason now as most people know i am a crab player which means that i only have one um gumbo energy statue and as you can see on this base, there is lots of free GB up here at the back. And these super warriors are perfect for farming that GB. Especially when there's no cannons and boom cannons and stuff about. Um, the, the damage coming off the rocket launchers isn't going to be much of an issue. So we can throw one at the top there and one at the back. And we can just let them farm up some gummo energy. See, they do do a decent amount of damage. Um... I said that rocket launcher there is down the bottom there. It's not a huge deal. By the time the rocket launcher comes around to fire its next few rounds, um, the warrior would have self-healed itself back to full health again. And the other cool thing that these things do is when they hit something, you see how it turns um, icy? So what that is, that's the cryo um, aspect of their damage. It means if you throw them at a defense and they hit the defense, it's the same as if that, that one particular defense will be frozen uh, in the same way as what um, a cryoneer um, does to buildings and stuff. Same as the cryo bomb on Mega Crab, things like that. They can do that to defenses as well. Now, normally if you throw them into the middle of a, of a stacked base, they might get one hit down on something like a shock launcher or a shock blaster before all the defenses turn on it and kill it outright. So as you can see, these guys have farmed up a nice bit of GB for me at the back here. So now we can drop our troops. And then whilst the uh, Super Warrior back there is still doing his thing, you can see there with each time he does his hits, the health bar regens just a little bit. And while we're doing that, that shock launcher at the moment is still currently occupied dealing with the super warrior leaving the troops to crack on dealing damage to the defenses and stuff obviously once the troops come in close enough like now they're gonna and um, that shock launcher is gonna turn and do its thing but as i said before you can throw one on a defense just like that and as soon as it hits it you can see it gets frozen up it's now gonna mean that boom cannon is gonna take a little longer to shoot and by the time the boom cannon can shoot again to deal any more damage to it, the super warrior takes it down all by himself. The other cool thing about these super warriors is, it's quite often you can use them to take down a whole base on their own. Um, as you can see on this one, the main thing here is going to be these boom cannons, which we can get rid of. And the sniper towers there will deal with them pretty quickly too. 
But once they're down, really, it's just a, a case of letting them farm, letting them do their thing, and they will slowly but surely take down all the defenses and get it done. As you can see, they heal themselves faster than the defenses and that can deal the damage to kill them off. It's the single shot defenses like snipers, cannons, boom cannons, anything like that really that will um, deal enough damage fast enough that they can't um, continue in the fight. You know, that It'll pick them off faster than they can heal themselves. As you can see there, that cannon there is slowly but surely chipping away at that um, one warrior there. As you can see, his health bar is going down. But as you can see, you can quite often take down bases on their own with just the Super Warrior. Okay guys, so this is where I personally think the Super Warrior is best. And that is on baby accounts, mini accounts, low level accounts, anything sort of below level 50, I would call a mini account. Um, this is my um, class now as, as an old account. It's a level, just, just turned level 58. Um, doing the all offensive thing as you can see but um up until now um obviously use warriors for map clearing same as most people do because they are as effective as they are um but with the super warrior you can quite often take out bases um as i said before showing on the npc on that npc base just a second ago but you can also take down um legitimate player bases with them too now bases laid out like this one are right for it because as i said before the only thing that can really take them out and be a problem for them is cannons and boom cannons and stuff um, and as you can see this guy has left his hq there perfectly in the corner for us which just makes it easy pickings for a normal warrior attack on its own um wouldn't even need any shocks easy warrior kill but we're gonna do it with just the super warriors um got a little bit more gb on this one but it's not boosted, so this is a 6 GB account. All I'm going to do is mark the two cannons there, like so. I'm going to get rid of that cannon too. And that sniper and that sniper. And that's it. I'm going to dump the rest of uh, my GB in Super Warriors in the back corner there. And just let them go to town on the HQ. Now everything else, there's nothing else there that can cause enough damage to them um, to kill them off. So it's literally just now a matter of time. You can see themselves healing themselves there. Easy stuff. Now just as a quick note, just something different, a little fun for you, a little fun fact about the Super Warriors. Um, their animation, they actually deal fa damage faster than their an animation shows. Um, so you can see them hit the HQ once and then you see the health bar on the hq go down again and then they hit again it's almost like they do two hits um in one animation cycle so the damage per second is applied even though they visually hit slower than um as many hits per second right so yeah fun fact okay so again guys this is another base that we can take down we're using just nothing but the super warriors start off with i'm going to throw one right out the back there um, just to collect us up some gunboat energy like that and then I'm gonna bark this cannon and this shock launcher just because those are the only things that are gonna stop me from um, taking down the core in a minute drop a couple of arties on that cannon over as well just to play it safe now whilst he's building up some GBE for us what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to throw a couple of Super Warriors down, but I'm going to spread them out. And the reason why I'm spreading them out around the HQ is because um, all these machine guns, um, rocket launchers, shock launcher, all that kind of stuff, all does splash damage. Which means it, they can hit more than one troop at a time. So if we put all our, all our Super Warriors on exactly the same point, all that splash damage is going to be applied to all of the Warriors at the same time. By having them spread out a little bit around the HQ, they means the defenses can't pick them all off at the same time. They've got to do them one at a time. Which not only spreads out the damage being done to your troops or the Super Warrior, but it also um, slows down 
um, also speeds up, sorry, the damage that you can do to the HQ because you're not losing troops as fast. So, I'm going to put one up there, one up there, one up there. See what comes into play first. Okay, so, shock launcher is coming into play, so we're going to get rid of that. But other than that, I think we're gravy. So, I'm going to put another one down. Just like that. And like I said, you've got them all spread out there so that the defences can't deal damage to every single one of them at a time. You can see that one there is going to be taken out by the boom cannon. But the others are going to heal themselves faster than the sniper tower, the machine gun and the rocket launchers and stuff can take them down. So there goes down another base. A level 60 as well with a couple of ice statues too thrown in. Taken down with nothing but the super warrior. Okay guys, so you just see me take down those couple of bases using nothing but the Super Warriors. And just, just to show you for reference sake on this le lower level account of mine, they're only level 15. So there are a couple of levels under maxed and we're still taking down um, bases, level 60 plus bases with no troops using just the Super Warrior um, pretty easily unboosted. So there you have it guys. Why don't you check out the videos on the screen now? More of good stuff to come from us very soon. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe. We really appreciate that stuff. Drop a comment below. Let me know if, how you're using the Super Warrior, if you're using it for a different purpose. I'd love to know how you guys are making the most of these special abilities. And if you like to, why not check out our Patreon? Got some cool stuff coming up on Patreon very soon too. But yeah, that's it for today, guys. I will catch you next time. Peace.